everyone and welcome back to Sarah's Craft Corner. I'm Sarah and today I'm going to be showing you how to do stranded color work using this little guy. It is a knitting thimble. Um, it's used as a way to make holding your yarn a lot more comfortable. So you can do this, instead of doing a two-handed two holding, you can use this to hold two strands in just one hand. So, let's get right into it. So this is your knitting thimble. It looks like a small coil with some loops on the end. If you notice very closely, it is slightly tapered. Um, it's not a very drastic taper, but it is a slight taper. And so you'll want to put it on your finger with the wider part of the taper going on first so it's towards your hand and it fits comfortably. You can have it on any position in your hand. Um, I like to generally put it with the left loop on the top and the right loop on my fingertip. So you'll want to load it in a similar way that you would do two-handed knitting. You will put your contrasting color or your more dominant color in the left loop and the background or main color in the right loop. You want to do it in a way that the yarn is coming out through the center of the loop to your work. And then you will just knit your pattern. Um, so it'll hold the yarn in each finger in separately so you can easily pick which color you want to use. This is very beneficial for people who like to do continental knitting far more than English knitting. It also can help if you find it difficult to manage two-handed holding. Um, and so I find it very useful when doing more than two colors as well. It can be a bit tricky to learn, so just keep on practicing. Knitting thimbles are generally pretty cheap, they're only a few dollars, so it's if you get it and you decide it's not for you, it's not really breaking the bank to have it. Um, I find it incredibly, incredibly useful. It does take some practice to load it and use it properly, but it holds your yarns and you will be less likely to tangle your yarn. The same way with two-handed knitting, you don't want to twist and cross your yarns um, unless you're trapping your float, but that is done in a very specific way. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you learned a lot today. Please remember to like and subscribe, and also if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment and I'll try to help you out as best as I can. Thank you. See you next time.